Realty Plus Co-working Excellence Awards 2021. And for that, I now hand it over to our lovely host for the evening, Ms. Bhavna Bhatia, to take us through these glittering awards. Thank you so much, uh, Sapna. Uh, that were that was some indeed uh, very interesting conversations we've had. Yeah. And Sapna being the editor of Realty uh, Plus, thank you for your valuable time as well, Sapna. Thank you for joining thank us. Thank you, Bhavna. And you know, let's, let's go on to the awards and let's see who are the winners. Absolutely, Sapna. So taking the cue and wonderful yeah. smile, spreading joy to all the winners and all the ones who are viewing us live today. You're all a very warm welcome to the virtual presentation of the Realty Plus Co-working Excellence Awards 2021. Well, my name is Bhavna Bhatia and I welcome you all to this dazzling evening of the second Realty Plus Co-working Awards 2021. Well, the event is being uh, streamed on the Realty Plus website, www.realtyplusmag.com and Realty Plus Facebook page at the rate RP Realty Plus. Do remember to tag us on our social media handles, which are on Facebook at the rate RP Realty Plus, on Twitter at the rate RP Realty, and as well on Instagram. Well, before we begin with the award ceremony, let me give you a brief introduction of what Realty Plus is all about. Well, Realty Plus magazine is a part of Exchange for Media and BW Business World Group. And this monthly publication is in the real estate vertical of the group and was created to cater to the needs of the real estate business. For the past 16 years, Realty Plus has been the forefront of news and stories influencing the world of real estate. It is also recognized as the best real estate magazine by the Real Estate Development Council, NAR NARETCO. Realty Plus is available both in print and digital edition. And moving on from the publications in today's challenging times, Realty has continued to innovate with digital products to keep the industry connected and engaged, such as the Realty Plus Masterclass webinar series, Realty Plus Real Talk video interviews, and Realty Plus Conclave and Excellence Awards virtual series. Well, at the time when traditional business models are on a shaky ground, the novel concept of shared workspaces are bringing blockbuster deals and global interest in the Indian office real estate. Well, the Realty Plus Coworking Awards will recognize and spotlight the companies that are leading the realty industry towards the new normal of workspaces and work life. To know more, can we have the intro AV please? The world of working space is changing. Market trends are evolving. The future of work life is transforming. The second Realty Plus Co-working Summit and Awards 2021. A virtual series where co-working space pioneers come together to discuss interesting trends, share solutions and honor best practices in flexible workspace creation. A meeting point for investors, industry stakeholders, solution providers in co-working and real estate. Hi everyone, my name is Leah Ong and I'm Director of Real Estate for Volvo Group Australia. Firstly, I'd like to thank you for the opportunity of being part of the jury this year for the 2021 Coworking Awards. As an end user myself, I'm particularly interested in seeing uh, what some of the co-working spaces have done around innovation in 2020 uh, and also looking at some of the technologies that have been implemented as well um, during COVID and, and obviously what we can take forward post COVID. Um, I'd like to really encourage you all to nominate uh, some of your favourite co-working spaces. Make sure you follow the links on the website and uh, just a reminder when nominating to ensure you follow all the guidelines. Thank you very much.
Well, superb. Thank you so much. And what a great uh, intro, A.V. that was. Uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's uh, start and add uh, to the celebration of the triumph. And dear friends, we present to you today the winners of the second Realty Plus Coworking Awards 2021. Well, do remember to tag us in your loving uh, winning shots uh, with our social media handles at the rate RP Realty Plus on Facebook, at the rate RP Realty Plus on Twitter, and RP Realty on Instagram. Also, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the awards are being presented to the most impressive work of organization and individuals in the flexible and shared spaces segment of commercial real estate. So, well, ladies and gentlemen, let's get all geared up. And what an exciting day this is turning out to be. We've got some amazing uh, sessions which were done, and now it is time for the awards. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's get the virtual applause and let's get more excitement in the room as we're going to be starting with the award ceremony right now. So, ladies and gentlemen, for the first award, which is for the co working brand of the year, National, uh, let's have a look at the winner, AV, please. The second Realty Plus Co-working Excellence Awards celebrates and felicitates the organizations and individuals that have shown out-of-the-box thinking in the co-working segment and are leading by example. The first award is for Co-working Brand of the Year, National, which demonstrate excellent support and resources for its clients, fostering a culture of innovation. And the award goes to Simply Work Offices. And the award for South Zone goes to Good Work Spaces. Well, so ladies and gentlemen, the first award, which is of the co-working brand of the year national, and that goes to Simply Work Offices Private Limited. Congratulations coming right there. Virtual applause for you. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, if I may request Kunal Walia, founder and CEO, Simply Work Offices Private Limited, to kindly join us on the stage and screen. Kunal, requesting you to join us. Thank Bye you so evening. much. And heartiest congratulations. Virtual applause coming right there. How does it feel, uh, Kunal? Thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for the recognition and my thanks to the jury. I think there's been a very hard year for everybody in the industry. So it feels really, really happy that, you know, we've been part of that success. We've been able to kind of survive the year and not, not just survive, but actually thrive. So credit goes to everybody in the family. You, we are a lean team. I think each one of us has put in about 10 times the work that we used to. Uh, so it's great to see uh, the recognition and thank you so much uh, at Reality Plus who for the recognition, for, for recognizing all the work that's gone in. This is going to be a huge kudos to everybody in the team. Absolutely. So, Mr. Walia, as you rightly said that, you know, the year has been tough. 2020 uh, definitely did call for unprecedented time and especially with regards to the co-working space. Uh, Mr. Walia, what was that one thing, you know, since you've, you're now coming on the winner's side, you know, whenever I was interviewing anyone in 2020, they always said it. this year is all about coming towards the end, towards the winner side, and you are on the winning side. So what was it, Mr. Valia, that you did that caught you to this win? Could you tell the viewers of the same? No, I think, honestly, right, uh, there is a significant element of luck involved. We've been lucky right from the start to have a slightly differentiated model. We focus on large, very, to very large enterprise customers. And, you know, those are sticky clients, right? So the credit quality of the clients has, has really helped us uh, all the deliveries of office space, we delivered over a million and a half square feet of office space in the last year. And that's a, you know, that's, that's a huge achievement. I, I think we were with the right partners in terms of, you know, our architects, our designers. We were able to get even laborers back, right? Because the landlords helped, I think, to a large extent, this is a collaborative effort. Also, we're part of the Salapriya group. So getting to rely on that kind of guidance, which goes back 30 years, 40 years, and the chairmanship of Mr. Bijay Agarwal, I think the, the mantra was keep over communicating, being, being aggressively over communicative with your clients, with your partners, with your landlords was the key to kind of making sure that this year, not only do we survive, but we actually end up thriving as well. Uh, we looked upon it as an opportunity and, you know, that's, that's hopefully thanks to this recognition seems to be something that, that we seem to have done really well. So it's, it feels really great. 
Absolutely. So, Mr. Mala, it's all about, let's say, colla collaboration and forging the right partnerships. Uh, what is it that 2021 you're looking forward to? How is your roadmap ahead? Uh, could you also share some, throw some light on that? How does 2021 look for you? Since we're in Jan right now, how does it look forward? No, I think 2021 uh, as a calendar year is off to a great start. We've, um, again, you know, we've started with some very large enterprise clients who have already come and signed up the space. We are in the middle of some good deliveries for this year as well. Pipeline looks great. I think the flex space uh, is part of now a core strategy for a lot of developers as well. We are getting more interest from clients who are permanently shifting part of their office spaces to flex. So as a strategy, I think, you know, the flex space movement has come to, has arrived. I think the onus is on all of us in the space to make sure that we don't waste the opportunity. Absolutely. So thank you so much, uh, Mr. Walia, and I'd really like to congratulate you. And uh, once again, uh, congratulations on winning on this accolade. I hope you and your thank team you. celebrate it equally. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Cheers. So, well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that was the first award, which is the co-working brand of the year national. And uh, now it is time for the co-working uh, uh, brand of the year. Uh, in the south zone and that goes to good work space private limited congratulations good work space private limited on that award and i'm requesting now vishwas mukadal ceo of good work space private limited as you can see him joining on the stage and screen uh, vishwas firstly a static uh, feeling must be and look at that smile coming across <laughs> your face how does it, it feel to win this award it, it feels awesome uh, thank you so much uh, this award means a lot to us it's an honor I know this is one of the most important awards uh, in our category. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Reality Plus uh, and Jury, of course, uh, for uh, uh, giving us this honor. I think last year has been, um, you know, um, a crazy year for all of us in the industry. But I think uh, we have braved it. We have braved the uh, the weather and the storm, and then we have come out uh, successfully. And uh, especially, it's it's heartening to see that our customers have stuck with us. Uh, and uh, the landlords and the investors that we've got uh, got a lot of uh, faith uh, they kept in us and i think uh, you know customers are giving a big thumbs up to our brand and then that's what is reflecting here uh, so thank you so much uh, uh, for that and of course uh, this this award goes to the team um, a fantastic team uh, and fantastic delivery from uh, you know good works uh, you know the team and family Absolutely. So, Mr. Mukdal, you know, you've just spoken about, uh, you know, 2020 being that year, which was uh, definitely uh, changing a lot of business aspects. And uh, you are uh, leading it from the front. And, you know, they say that uh, a good team is uh, driven by a good leader. So I would like to ask you, Mr. Mukdal, if I can take this opportunity, what is that one piece of advice you'd like to give to all the ones who are in the co-working space who are looking forth to you as a leader today? What's that one piece of advice? So uh, it's always uh, as a leader, I think what you need to set upon is a pace where uh, you are excelling in a few things that you really um, enjoy doing, right? Uh, so you need to create your USP and stick to it because uh, there are a lot of players out there and you need to create your differentiator. And uh, for GoodWorks, it's been about creating an awesome design. Design has been the number one uh, thing for us. Uh, I'm myself an artist and we have a great uh, design team. Uh, you know, we are able to uh, create an awesome space, something that is just not a copy of some other space, but to create something of your own, right? And enjoy that whole process. Uh, that's been the number one thing uh, for us. And also second thing is being extremely customer centric, understanding the customer needs, uh, has been uh, the second uh, second point and the third point has been our enterprise focus where uh, you know we, we are quite good at uh, attracting large customers uh, fortune 500 to fortune uh, 100 uh, 500 customers uh, many of the funded startups so uh, we are able to cater to them because we understand what does it take for our enterprise uh, you know, to, to succeed in a workplace and uh, create a, a atmosphere for employees to succeed. So I think uh, for all the co-working players out there, I think uh, my advice to them is focus on a couple of key things and then uh, go go at it. I think uh, be damn good at what you do, right? So I think that's what is a, is a key. So absolutely. And Mr. Amukdal, uh, what is the road ahead for Good Works three to six months down the line? How does 2021, what's the planning like? Could you throw some light on that as well? 
Yeah, I think 2021 is, is going to be a very exciting year uh, for us, especially. So we are looking to expand our brand and we're looking at uh, expanding the, the number of uh, workspaces that we're going to have. We are uh, coming up with diff exciting different models where we can uh, tie up with many of the landlords and many of the investors. So uh, it's going to be a year of uh, expansion and uh, many new experimental models that you know we're going to come up uh, so that uh, we create an ecosystem uh, which is a win-win for all the uh, the parties in the uh, in those real estate and the flex space, basically. Absolutely. So that's great to know. And uh, thank you so much, Mr. Mukdal, for giving us giving in your valuable time. And, and we really hope that you and your team at Goodworks uh, Space Private Limited enjoy this win as much as we enjoy giving it to you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Cheers. So ladies and gentlemen, wow, that was great. We've just had our winners in the first category joining us, uh, both from the national and the south. And let's move on to another category today, which is the co-working technology of the year. Well, let's see who the winner is. Could we have the winner, AV, please? Co-working and technology goes hand in hand. And this next award is for co-working technology of the year. Awarded to a technology-based product or solution that has reinvented the business and co-working community. And the award goes to SmartWorks Co-working Spaces. Well, absolutely. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. The co-working technology of the year goes to SmartWorks Co-working Spaces. And may I now, with a virtual applause, call upon Aniti Raj Shikhavath, Vice President Technology, SmartWorks Co-working Spaces Private Limited, to join us on the stage and screen. So, well, ladies and gentlemen, what a great time this is turning out to be. Congratulations. Uh, firstly, accept our virtual applause. Over to you, sir. How does it feel? Absolutely. It feels fantastic. Uh, thank you, Bhavana. And uh, a big thank you to Reality Plus and the esteemed jury members to recognize our efforts and bestow us with this prestigious award. SmartWorks, uh, we believe in, from since inception, has been focusing on enabling the workspaces to offer maximum ease and unparalleled member experience. And we believe that can only be possible through technology applied at a uh, right time, at the right place, and what kind of uh, uh, technology frontiers we ride on. We believe future will be all about digitally enabled workspaces, connected buildings, and I'm proud to say we are ready with our smart offices and innovative solutions. Absolutely. So, uh, Mr. Shikhavat, I wanted to understand, you know, Vishwas, the CEO rightly said that it's all about having the right USP. And, you know, technology definitely is a differentiating point when it comes to, you know, a co-working space. So could you throw some light on that as well, Mr. Shikhavat? What was it that you did different? So, we... we mapped out the entire journey of the client or a client member right when they start entering the building so the parking has to be digitally enabled it has to be a seamless experience uh we getting inside the building safe and securely should be a touchless experience considering now covid is already uh we covid is passed but uh, we i'm not sure but it happened coincidentally and we were ready for covid <laughs> with the help of technology our workspaces have been digitally enabled to get inside the building safely and securely touchless. Uh, whether it is your visitor management system or uh, booking a meeting room uh, or maybe get a cup of coffee from uh, your favorite cup of coffee from the vending machine has to be digitally enabled. I think we mapped out the entire journey and we started to enable all these things digitally. Wow, that's great. Uh, Mr. Chekhavat, I would look uh, forward to, you know, walking into your, uh, you know, location and grabbing that cup of coffee, totally, uh, you know, touch without any uh, touch wine. And that would be great. You know, it's going to be an amazing experience. And that's what I believe, you know, this pandemic has taught us is to, you know, have it all digitally enabled and you being behind that. That's kudos to you. Congratulations. Thank you for joining Thank us. You are and you're most welcome to all our offices. <laughs> Pleasure, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. 
So ladies and gentlemen, what a great round of, uh, you know, the winners are joining us on stage and we're having a good time hosting all of them on this Realty uh, Plus uh, Excellence Awards 2021. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to move on to our next category, which is the co-working space design and services of the year. Could we have a look at the winner? The winner, Avi, please. The next category is co-working space design and services of the year. Goes to a space that is dynamically designed to optimize the workspace experience. And the award goes to 315 Work Avenue by Nesta Vera. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, yes, uh, the co-working space designer and services of the year and the award goes to 315 Work Avenue by Nestavera. So congratulations, uh, accept our applause while we call upon Manas Mehrotra, chairman and founder, 315 Work Avenue by Nestavera. Thank you, Mr. Mehrotra, for joining us uh, on the stage and screen. Congratulations, do accept our virtual applause. Firstly, you, design, you know, award, look at the design in the back you know this is what we're talking about it is so cool thank you so much how does it feel mr Mayrotra? thank you thank you uh, uh, it's a great moment for the team and for everyone uh, we are very delighted to receive this award uh, i think uh, the team has worked really hard during this pandemic time uh, uh, you know to turn around things for the client's requirements as soon as you know things opened up on may 4th the team was geared up to you know complete the execution uh, and be ready to you know provide clients uh, the spaces which they were looking forward to so it was a very very difficult time getting labors people was not an easy thing you know uh, asking people you know and getting them around was very very challenging and especially challenging when more the developers were actually take, trying to take up more of the labor guys so people available for the interiors were even much more lesser so uh, uh, you know still the team has worked towards it made it that happen uh, you know and turned it around and uh, you know even uh, all our teams has been completely focused after that you know to how to get it through the sales or you know how to motivate and make sure the team is always moving so all thanks to the entire team and i want to thank the reality plus you know for recognizing us this is the second consecutive year that we are receiving uh, uh, an award from them wow firstly a uh, second year in a row that's that's great firstly for that virtual applause and cheers uh, mr Merotra. now two things i want to understand now first is that you know uh, co-working definitely is distinguished from the design and services they carry and you winning the award on that for you know two years in a row what was it mr Merotra, that you feel that you do which is different from the others and that continues to get you this excellence throughout what is that mr Merotra? So on, so it's both right design and services. So on the design perspective, uh, you know, when we work, uh, most of the co-working guys will have a, a systemized manner of a system in place of things which will is added and provided and the things which are not going to be inclusive in, in that. Uh, we keep that list very flexible, you know, and very uh, client friendly rather than, uh, you know, our from our perspective. So that really helps, uh, you know, uh, clients to choose a lot of different options which a lot of co-working guys probably would not provide or if they provide they're going to ask for an extra cost uh, towards it so that is one thing which we have seen has actually helped us uh, from a service perspective you know post covid uh, we were the first one to add british council for safety uh, as a norm uh, you know getting that certification done uh, we were the first one who introduced a couple of services like ionization of spaces ionization of your uh, you know air uh, these are kind of services which clients really appreciated us uh, at the right timings. So it's very important you give them the service what they need, at, but at the right timing. If you are delaying that, if you are not turning them back within a, a particular period of an hour, uh, you know, probably that might not become any of a use for them. And, you know, it becomes uh, as completely invalid. Absolutely. I think, uh, you know, you've really spoken uh, what a true leader does is uh, striking the uh, chord when, you know, the iron is hot because you know exactly the right time the right technology getting released which differentiates you and mr merotra before you leave just one more question what does it look uh, three to six months down the line what is your vision forward uh, what are you planning could you could you also throw some light on that as well 
so uh, from last two months the market has been pretty good and we are seeing a lot of you know inquiries and uh, actual conversions uh, uh, so that is excellent uh, from a news perspective so we think it's now the time that uh, we should start picking up good properties on good location so we are moving aggressive uh, you know post covid we have added almost uh, 300000 square feet 3 uh, 3.5 lakh square feet uh, under our belt uh, uh, and trying to add more, uh, you know, to make it a bigger portfolio. I think that is the right timing right now to take up the, the uh, properties and be available for the market tomorrow. Wow, that's great. It's so good to know what what lies uh, down uh, three to four, six months down for you. Uh, congratulations, Mr. Mehrotra. I hope you and your team uh, celebrate this uh, tonight and have a Thank great you. weekend ahead. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Cheers. So ladies and gentlemen, wow, this is going great. We're getting to see who the winners are, getting to interact with them, getting to know so much about what got them to win in the first place. So this is really good. And ladies and gentlemen, with getting the momentum on, let's move on to the next category. Now we have the prestigious co-working leader of the year award, an individual with notable achievements and those who serve as a role model for the community. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a look at the winner AV. Could we have the AV please? Now we have the prestigious co-working leader of the year award, an individual with notable achievements and who serves as a role model for the community. And the award for National Zone goes to Amit Ramani, co-founder, Office Space Solutions. And the award for South Zone goes to Kunal Walia, founder and CEO, Simply Works Offices. And the award for West Zone goes to Yash Shah, founder and CEO, The Address. So ladies and gentlemen, wow, this is great. Uh, well, the co-working leader of the year and when we're talking about the national zone and it goes to Amit Romani, co-founder, Office Space Solutions. May I now request Mr. Romani to kindly join us on the stage and screen. Accept our applause right there for Mr. Romani. Thank you so much. And what a great time it is turning out to be. Congratulations, sir. How does it feel on winning this award? Thank you, Bhavna. Thank you. It feels great. It's wonderful. Absolutely. So, Mr. Romani, uh, you know, a leader of your capacity, your capability, I'm sure a lot of the ones who are viewing in the co-working space uh, really look forward to hearing uh, certain reasons, you know, your leadership traits, which you feel would really benefit uh, the ones who are just entering the industry. What is it that you feel, Mr. Romani, got you to where you are? Could you please tell us on that? So, Bhavna, firstly, I wanted to thank Reality Plus and the jury for this recognition, which is truly wonderful. Uh, and clearly, it's a testament for the team today. I'm extremely thankful to each of our team members for their unwavering passion that has gotten us to this stage. And together, we'll continue to grow as uh, we have in the past. And, uh, you know, wonderful to uh, uh, get this honor. Um, so I think, uh, Bhavna, on the, you know, on the trades part of it, I think, uh, you know, fairly straightforward things, right? I mean, uh, uh, hard work is something that, you know, pays off. So th there is no shortcuts to... Uh, making a success. Uh, as an entrepreneur, obviously, you have to take calculated risk, uh, which obviously uh, all of us do. And, uh, you know, uh, and then uh, clearly you have to have the best team. You have to have people that are smarter than you uh, who can, you know, drive uh, this journey much faster and better than uh, you. Uh, so I think uh, it's clearly uh, those three things makes the most, uh, you know, impact. And I think something that we've learned in uh, during COVID is resiliency, right? You have to have the ability to, um, you know, be able to uh, tough out the, the the challenging times, which uh, at office, uh, I think we did an extremely good job of it, so. 
Absolutely. Uh, Mr. Amani, what is it, uh, what does, uh, you know, office space solutions, what, what's the way ahead for them uh, three to six months down the line, you know, looking at from the challenges uh, which has happened and now you're on the winning side. So firstly, kudos and congratulations to that. But uh, how does the road look forward now, Mr. Amani? So, uh, Bhavna, I think you uh, obviously through the day today, we've heard, heard the everybody is extremely bullish. So I don't want to repeat that part of it. Um, I think at least from our journey, I think uh, two, three things that uh, we are uh, extremely focused on. I think supply, uh, as we've always believed, is, uh, you know, it, it's a supply side story. It's not a demand side only story uh, for uh, co-working and flex space and managed offices. So clearly our supply, uh, we want to double. Uh, we are currently at about 2.5 million odd square feet. We want to go to 5 million this year. Uh, it took us five years to get here, but we will do that in one year. Uh, so uh, supply is something that we are extremely focused on. Uh, Second, uh, no, clearly is uh, about uh, delivering a, a stellar experience for our customers. So uh, clearly, we have upped our game. We have, uh, you know, we are the version five of our design solutions uh, for our customers, and so you will see uh, that being rolled out this year as well. And uh, clearly, uh, you know, it's about uh, growth. So revenue growth is something that we are extremely uh, focused on, and uh, that's something that we want to do in terms of doubling our size, and we want to go IPO uh, in twenty twenty three. Wow, that's that's superb, uh, Mr. Ramani. After hearing uh, all the road ahead which lies for you, all I can wish you is uh, good luck and more power to you and your team. When you have a leader like you, definitely the team, uh, you know, deserves a huge round of applause along with you. And I hope you all celebrate tonight. Thank you so much. Well done. Thank you, Bhavna. Congratulations and cheers. Thank you. So ladies and gentlemen, that was Mr. Amit Romani, co-founder of Office Space Solutions. And now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, for the co-working leader of the year award, South Zone, and that goes to Kunal Walia, founder and CEO, Simply Work Offices. So if I can request Mr. Walia to join us on the stage and screen. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Walia joining. Well, there, there's got to be something, right, that if you're joining us twice on the screen, uh, you know, it deserves a bigger, bigger round of applause. And uh, Mr. Walia, firstly, how does it feel? I know you've uh, just won uh, the earlier award as well, and now for the leadership award. How does it feel, Mr. Walia? Thanks, thanks, thanks for the recognition. I know you know the category seems to be that of an individual, uh, but this is a team effort. Uh, so I'm happy to accept it on behalf of everybody that's uh, helped so hard uh, to bring us here. Absolutely. Uh, so, Mr. Walia, you know, we did we did speak about the way ahead and, you know, we did speak a little bit about the challenges. But when it comes to, you know, you definitely give a lot of credit to your team. But that also, uh, you know, is a great attribute to how good a leader you are. So, you know, I'm just going to throw this one question to you, Mr. Walia. Firstly, uh, you know, what is your leadership strategy ahead? Like, uh, what is that? What are the certain number of traits you feel that one possesses uh, that has kept you going in this co-working industry? Because it's a challenging industry and, you know, everyone seems to be bullish in their approach right now. So how do you differentiate yourself with such a brilliant team of uh, leading? So I don't think we start off from the point of trying to differentiate. I think it's just, uh, you know, the month is three. Hire the right people, empower them, get out of their way. Uh, make sure you know at every level everybody is kind of empowered to take a decision. Uh, the second is culture. We drive, and I, it's not just means every leadership uh, position here at Simply Work. We all drive a culture of customer centricity to the point of obsession. Um, we work with large to very large enterprises, and there is significant amount of uh, back and forth that has to happen. Response times are something that we scrutinize quite a fair bit. Uh, if you can't empower your people, you will continuously be spending your bandwidth just chasing them for the same things. So hire right, get out of the way, uh, build a culture of centricity. And, and I think the last thing which very few people uh, really talk about, but for us, it's very important is empathy. When you're managing a large team, you're making sure that they're empowered. You've got to have a very hard sense of empathy in terms of their requirements. Are they comfortable? Because these are guys standing, making sure pandemic or no pandemic, things are getting delivered on time. So you got to take care of them. I mean, it's just, I think it just keeps uh, things very simple. That's the strategy. 
Absolutely. Also, Mr. Walia, you know, to, uh, 2020 definitely had its own blockages in terms of uh, social distancing and, you know, uh, the offices weren't operating uh, how they have been operating across the world. How was it that, Mr. Walia, that you engaged with, uh, you know, let's say your customers, your employees, because you're a man who leads the team and, you know, you do give a huge credit to your team as well. So what is it that you did to keep your employees, uh, you know, your team engaged and also your customers, could you share on that as well, Mr. Valia? Again, I think, uh, you know, there isn't really a, a secret sauce here. Uh, we just made sure that, you know, we were constantly in communication. And I think I made this point earlier. I think the mantra we keep is aggressive, over, aggressively over communicate, whether it's customers, whether it's employee, whether it's board members, uh, we don't shy away from bad news. So the point is to be aggressively over communicated to the point where you know, the employees feel like they are no longer out of office. Uh, so providing that experience uh, or bringing the same stress levels, let's put it to be very fair, right? And let's not sugarcoat it, it was, was the key, right? So just because there's a lockdown doesn't mean the work tempo has gone down. Uh, and I think we just circle back to that all the time. Absolutely. That's great. So thank you so much, Mr. Walia. Two awards already on the way. Uh, congratulations. And I hope you more success and more power in the years to come. Congratulations once Absolutely. again. Thank you so much. Namaskar. Cheers. So ladies and gentlemen, that was Mr. Kunal Walia, founder and CEO of Simply Work Offices. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for the co-working leader of the year and uh, for the West Zone, and that goes to Yash Shah, founder and CEO, The Address. So congratulations to uh, Mr. Shah. Firstly, what a great win this is turning out to be. You're looking absolutely great. Uh, Mr. Shah, how does it feel to win this award? Over to you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, I think it feels uh, obviously really great. But I think that uh, I am not really worthy of this award. It would not have been much uh, if it weren't for the team that has been continuously working uh, um, you know, since since about three and a half years now, and uh, I think that uh, through everything that we've we've gone through over the last, uh, I think, roughly year now, almost a year now, uh, um, you know, we've all we've all come back from it, we've all come out of it, and uh, we've we've even expanded after it. So I think that uh, having the right team members, uh, having the right particular set of vision, and you know, uh, most importantly, executing it has been the key, and I think we've been successful in doing that. Absolutely. So, uh, Mr. Shah, I just wanted to understand, you know, obviously, uh, definitely, if you won the award, you know, you do give credit to your team. But definitely, it requires a leader like you and, uh, you know, somebody of your capacity, uh, you know, being so young and achieving so much in life already. Uh, what is it that, Mr. Shah, what are your piece of advices you'd like to give to the, you know, the entrepreneurs who are looking forth in your space right now on the screen? Uh, I think that the only piece of advice I would like to give is uh, to keep it simple uh, and you know just focus on the basics. I don't think that uh, there's any rocket science to anything that goes on and around. Uh, once anybody gets into this business or any business for that piece of uh, for that uh, you know for that matter, I think uh, the only thing that matters is uh, how you keeping your basics right and and going ahead with it. Uh, it's it's all about clarity. It's all about communication and and. You know, things fall in place right away. Absolutely. Uh, also, you know, Mr. Shah, how was the year 2020 and how does 2021 look now? Definitely, there would be a lot of challenges, which I'm sure, you know, uh, the team and you would have uh, overcome. And now that you're on the winning side, how was 2020 and what do you look for in 2021? I would personally say that 2020 wasn't really a bad year. Uh, we had a um, I would say we had a bad quarter, but uh, not a bad year. And I would personally, uh, I personally believe that uh, Q4 of 2020 was also uh, uh, to really put all our uh, ghosts behind and move ahead with it. Um, as I said, uh, you know, we expanded uh, quite a lot in 2020, and uh, uh, um, you know that we're we're uh, up for that in 2021 as well. But uh, I mean, uh, you know, bygones are bygones. We have to keep uh, what what's done. Uh, in the past and just uh, move ahead look look for uh, better days ahead absolutely so uh, congratulations mr shah i'm sure you're going to uh, celebrate with your team uh, tonight and over the weekend we'd really like to congratulate you and more power to you and your team congratulations thank you, mr. Thank you so much namaskar cheers 
So ladies and gentlemen, uh, wow, that was uh, Yasha, founder and CEO of uh, The Address. And uh, now it is time uh, to move on to the next award category, which is the award for the co-working innovation of the year. And it goes to the company that has brought forth some exciting business innovations. Let's have a look at who the winner is. Could we have the winner, A.V.? The award for co-working innovation of the year goes to a company that has brought forth an exciting business innovation. And the award goes to QDesk. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, co-working innovation of the year, and that goes to QDesk, and we're having on the stage and screen, Mr. Paris Arora, CEO and founder QDesk. So firstly, congratulations, Mr. Arora. Do, uh, do take our virtual applause. We're trying to give you as much energy as possible. How does it feel, uh, Mr. Arora, to winning this award? Over to you. No, definitely uh, uh, a big thank you to the organizers and jury. Uh, we take this very, very gracefully. This is a great validation uh, to the whole ethos of uh, QDES and the team uh, to be tech first and tech being the, you know, our uh, backbone. Uh, this time it's been uh, a great validation for our new baby, uh, which is called Eva Concierge. Uh, we've been, you know, uh, very proactive in innovations as far as, you know, how tech can help us uh, to generate more demand, aggregate supply and then transaction. Now this is like you know 2.0 version for us getting into the management of spaces through EVA Concierge, uh, which basically the, the aim of EVA is to enhance efficiencies uh, for the spaces, how they can manage their occupants, create beautiful experiences. Uh, so it helps a uh, central manager to you know enhance the experience by removing uh, issues related with you know the, the office hygiene issues or safety issues, housekeeping issues. Uh, to even visitor management, booking meeting rooms, and you know a little bit of community bonding as well. So pretty humbled with the validation and the recognition. Thank you so much. Absolutely. So Mr. Arora, uh, yeah. yes, please, sir. And, please it go goes to the team. and it goes to the team. It uh, took us good, uh, you know, 12 to 14 months uh, to develop this, uh, and half of that was in research. What exactly we need to uh, create for co-working uh, space owners and operators. Uh, which is very cost effective and will help them manage more occupants and beautifully. Absolutely. Uh, so, uh, Mr. Arora, definitely, you know, uh, at QDesk, uh, you know, being in the co-working space uh, and even all the other industries, it's it's been a challenging year. You know, we can't uh, deny that uh, 2020, but uh, definitely you've come on the winning side of that. Uh, what is it that uh, QDesk is planning for if we have to look at three to six months down the line? Because uh, getting in the innovation side, the award, uh, definitely you would, you've would you done, you've spoken about it. What is it that we are looking for at QDesk in the next uh, three to six months down the line, Mr. Arora? I think uh, 2020 has been a you know great year for us to focus on the product and have a deeper learnings about the uh, space and the ecosystem. Uh, our core business is the, being the transaction platform for the you know ecosystem. Uh, we are a demand and a supply aggregator, uh, being a marketplace. Now getting our inroads into managing the space. So this is our bit. Uh, nothing much we need to you know uh, think through or you know, forcefully push ourselves, keep doing what we are doing, uh, be faster at it, uh, be more agile, and uh, keep innovating at the right phases. Absolutely, uh, Mr. Ora. So congratulations and more power to you in uh, innovating further. And, uh, you know, great uh, kudos to your team. We hope you do more and more R&D and get the best uh, possible uh, to the co consumers out there. Congratulations once again, Mr. Ora. Thank you. Namaste and cheers. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is going great. We just had Mr. Paras Arora, CEO and founder QDesk. And now the next award is an exciting one. Well, this is this we're talking about is the co-working space design of the year. And this goes to a space that is dynamically designed to optimize the workspace experience. So let's have a look at who the winner is. Could we have the winner?
this next award is an exciting one. The co-working space design of the year goes to a space that is dynamically designed to optimize workspace experience. And the award goes to the address. So ladies and gentlemen, the co-working space design of the year and that goes to the address. Congratulations right there. And could I now request Yasha, founder and CEO of the address to kindly join us on the stage and screen. Hello, Lord. So Mr. Shah, I mean, you got another award. You know, let's let's bow down. You're you're leading it from the front, and now we're talking about a really exciting award, which is for the space design of the year. Firstly, how are you feeling? Over to you, Mr. Shah. Uh, thank you, thank you once again. But I think that again, this this award, I have absolutely nothing to do with it. Uh, so the team in the team in house, uh, they were all on a break, uh, um, exploring Sri Lanka back in 2019, and that's when they um, really got the idea to they were they were inspired by jeffrey bava and uh, and uh, made our newest uh, uh, floors and i think uh, it speaks for itself uh, people really enjoy it uh, tech enabled of course um, you know uh, the mixture of modern and history as well as having some uh, terrific napping pods out there so yeah i mean i'd give it to the team so, Mr. Shah, firstly, I have to say you're really humble. You know, every time you're coming on the screen, you are giving it a huge credit to your team. Uh, but you know, one thing I have to say is the aesthetically designed uh, the address. It is, it is, a, you know, a treat to the eyes. And as you rightly said, it is a mix of the modern and uh, you know, uh, the uh, you know, being space uh, efficiently. And you're also talking about technology at the same time. Now that requires a huge vision, Mr. Shah. What is it that uh, you know? you feel from the design perspective uh, you know and you as a consumer what is it that what are your to do points when it comes to designing a co-working space mr shah um so for me i think uh, uh, personally that a space should be uh, a little should not really be loud uh, very subtle to the eye uh, because somebody uh, who is actually coming down to work over there they they are not going to be just sitting there for like a day a week you know uh, the space should actually grow onto you rather than uh, you being saturated by it so you know we make sure that uh, we use subtle colors uh, the people uh, uh, the people like the, the space grows on them over a, over a span of some time and and uh, that's that's pretty much about it uh, just uh, yeah just making sure that uh, uh, we we like what people make absolutely people, uh, you know right. my bad no no absolutely mr shah you're right on that because uh, especially when you you know you're going to a co-working space the more the space grows on you you enjoy it even further you know right from the amenities but i personally as a consumer i love design you know i i love going to a space which is very aesthetically designed yet modernly uh, equipped you know so i think that's something which you definitely uh, as a company the address has done so thank you so much uh, mr shah we uh, we've had a great uh, round of conversation with you and yes as you rightly said we definitely credit your team uh, but definitely i'd give you huge kudos from leading it from the front and we'd see you at the address soon thank you so much sir thank you so much cheers so ladies and gentlemen what a great round of conversation that was from with uh, mr shah founder and ceo of the address so firstly i'd like to congratulate uh, all the winners you definitely have made the industry proud with the dedication and the performance once again uh, to all the viewers we'd like to thank you for joining and taking in the time to come and uh, be connected with us today your participation and presence definitely made this evening truly memorable and we wish you all the health and well being and definitely we look forward to seeing you all soon virtually with god's grace once we emerge from this pandemic and we will have this delightful opportunity of connecting in person too thank you and god bless this is me bhavna bhatia signing on behalf of realty plus thank you once again for joining us and could we now have the y partner av